respected outside. Sometimes those of you don't feel the importance, the love that people have for Ghana. And so I think it's a lovely country. We can be so much better. So we have to guard our democracy jealously. You know, it doesn't mean the politicians should take the mandate that has been given to them for granted, including my own government. Sometimes I'm a bit critical of them. You know, do the things that are necessary to satisfy the mandate that the Ghanaian people have bestowed in you. That is very important. And that's why I'm standing. I mean, the economy is in, I mean, a lot of people say it's in a bad shape now. Do you think that even when you unite, you start a chance of winning in 2020? I think I explained that to you earlier. Yes, we are going through tough times. There's no doubt at all about that. I think we could have been much, much better. We could have been much, much better. Although globally, there's been an economic downturn. But we have to look at ourselves. I believe as a country, we should live within our means. This perennial running a budget that is always in deficit, we should tighten our belt. We should only run on what we can earn. And I think that is going to be the mainstay of my economic policy. Value for money, prudent, efficient, effective management of our resources. Well, that's what I've done. I've, I've spent very little, but I've come very far in this campaign. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Sounds Thank you.